judges could have made a different judgment. It's not black and white and they're being deliberately difficult. So don't sit there telling me, you mean, that politicians can't criticise the judiciary because in this instance, they deserve everything they got. Government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. I can't believe the news about these lawyers, these lefty-leaning immigration lawyers who you see on the telly all the time saying that they're looking after the well-being of bought people who arrive by the hundreds every Saturday and Sunday yeah. like they're on some kind of day trip to Skegness. Yeah. And it turns out that large numbers of them are basically breaking the law to cash in. They're sitting there in their million pound pads with their multi-million pound investment property portfolios, all funded by the taxpayer, 10 grand a time. And all they do is tell immigrants and illegal immigrants that how to lie to yeah. beat the system. Don't worry, Mr. Client. You're really from Punjab? Oh, no, no, no. It's better if you say you're from here. I think it'd be a really good idea if you could say that you were persecuted. Yeah. Let me give you some examples of the kind of persecution that works. There are a raft of different things that they use. It will be said on the mainstream media that these are few and far between, but looking at the Daily Mail and the work that they've done on it, it doesn't seem to be few and far between to me. In fact, they found firm after firm after firm. Mm. And this is where our legal aid money goes to. It is an absolute disgrace. Right. Those firms need to be investigated by the SRA, and I think they will. The, S the SRA is a good governing body, and it will probably look into them and strike them off. And, and then rightly it should, and they should go to prison, those solicitors, for breaking the law. We have laws. Solicitors cannot do that. They cannot pervert the course of justice, okay, which is what they've been doing, and they've been lying basically. So they will go against the Code of Conduct for the SRA, they'll be struck off, and they should go to jail. But they won't go to jail. Well, they'll be struck I, off. I, I think they probably will, actually, because uh, the law is pretty clear. And those bad firms should be shut down. But one, there's a couple of problems with what you said. You said that these immigration lawyers are multi-millionaires sitting on multi-million pound in property investment firms. Legal aid, do you know how much legal aid gets paid? Right, tens of pounds. Right. Some of them are getting these tens of thousands of pounds. That's probably for the whole case. If it's illegal, they shouldn't be getting any money. But one, these lefty lawyers are not on lots of money at all. Oh, no, they are Most because they charge, they charge the migrants the money as well. That's how much they're charging migrants to do all this work for them. We'll bend the rules, but it'll cost you X. OK, but that isn't the same case for legal aid. Legal aid pays a pittance. A lot of these uh, lawyers are doing uh, a lot of work for not much money. But my main point is that I think this is actually, I get the whole gist that people are upset that they're coming in and the, especially if they're breaking the law and getting people off and fabricating stories so they can get their settled status. But what I'm saying is the government, this kind of dangerous narrative, the government maligning the judiciary, the decisions they're making on um, applications and allowing people to come in. There's a separation of powers, and I actually don't think many people understand separation of powers. You've got the executive, which is the government, and then you've got parliament, which is the legislature, and then you've got the judiciary, and they're all separate, and this is really important. This is what stops a country falling into dictatorship, okay? So the government can't tell the legislature what laws to pass. The legislature can't tell the judiciary what, how to implement the law. They're all completely separate. So the executive proposes bills. It proposes law. It doesn't get to put them in place. It proposes them to the legislature. The legislature then vote on those and decide which, which bills become law. And then the judiciary implements those laws and they're totally separate from each other. So what the executive, the government in this case, instead of maligning the judiciary, what it needs to do is change the law. It's got an 80, 70 seat majority now, whatever it is. The reason this hasn't gone through is because the Court of Appeal has overturned the decision and it says that it goes What's that, against... Rwanda? Yeah, Rwanda, sorry. Yeah, you're quite right. The Rwanda police overturned the Rwanda police because it goes against Article 3. Um, but they've been quite clever in their ruling. So it's not that it goes against Article 3, which is that it could lead to inhumane treatment of someone. They're saying 
that Rwanda's policy is def- is asylum policy is deficient. So therefore, they could end up sending them back to another country where they could suffer this treatment. So until Rwanda sorts out their asylum system, we can't send the people there because it but, might. No, but that's that just article. that's just that's just left these loyalists speak because it's about opinion. Yeah. Their opinion is that their system probably isn't good enough, and they probably may be able to potentially send people back to where. Yes, they I came agree from. with you. There is a left-leaning bias in this. this. Is what I was talking about earlier with the governing bodies. There's inertia, right? And they are. You have to accept that the establishment is left-wing, and we might be able to change that in the long term. But they can't not implement the law. The law. They can interpret the law, and they can have a left-wing interpretation of the law, which is what's happening here. Okay, but it's still the law. Well, explain it to me. So the government want to send people to Rwanda and they've said it's too dangerous that they could send them back. What do they need to change with the law to actually get rid of that? Do they say you can never use a a country's uh, perceived um, immigration policies as a reason for stopping it? Do you see what I mean? It's just like... You mean, how do you stop that left leaning? There's no... You change the law. To say what? Well, because the judges are using a law. They're not just making it up. They're not just saying, oh, we we deem that this is wrong, okay, in our opinion. They're using a law to say it's wrong. So they're saying this contravenes Article 3 of the ECHR. Okay, so what you can do is you can leave the ECHR. Correct. And then the judges wouldn't be able to use that law in their their determining of what's right. So what you're saying is it's, it's... it's the law within, or the rules within the H- H- ECHR is what they use it. Yeah, so we need to leave the ECHR. We also need to amend the Human Rights Act of 1998. Okay, because both of those are stopping this bill going through. The government can do that. So the government can put those amendments that to Parliament, we are going to leave the ECHR. Do you want to vote on it? I don't know what Parliament would do. They might not. Okay, but they might vote to leave the ECHR. They won't. Or we need to amend the Human Rights That's Act That's why they haven't done it. He knows he won't get the vote through. But, and then, re- but that, that's the problem, Andy. So then you're in a very, actually, dangerous situation. So you're in a kind of despotic situation here where, and I hate to say it, that you've got the executive maligning the judiciary because they can't get their laws through. But that's why we've got the separation of powers. It's really important so you don't just have the executive dictating what laws go through and how they get implemented in the judiciary. So to change it, they have to go through Parliament. And Parliament is decided by the people. So the legislature is decided by the people who can vote through laws. Those people in Parliament at the moment, by your account, probably won't vote to leave the ECHR or the Human Rights Act. Because Theresa May will... That's democracy. No, but Theresa May will stand up and point out, quite rightly, that the only two countries to leave the ECHR are Russia and Belarus. Okay. And what? And then we'd be a terrible country. Personally, I don't give a monkey's because this has gone on for too long. It's making a mockery of us as British, as a British nation, and it needs to stop. And if that's the only way to stop it, then so be it. Of course, I mean that's it's almost like an ad hominem, isn't it? You know, uh, oh, only Russia and Belarus have done that, therefore we can't. I mean, that's just, just nonsense. If we need to move, if we need to, if we need to leave these and amend our laws, then we should be able to do so. But it's so the government at the moment is maligning the judiciary and actually that's that isn't good right their position is to change the law and they can do that if they can get it through parliament these are really important principles people have died for these principles because otherwise the alternative is you have a despotic or a monarch dictating what happens who gets punished how laws get implemented so separation of powers is really important principle and there's people on our side who will scan freedom of speech rights here our rights this right implement it and they haven't got a freaking clue what they're talking about because they don't even understand basic principles like separations of power you sound like theresa may to me and frankly i don't again them lawyers could have made a different of them judges could have made a different judgment it's not black and white and they're being deliberately difficult. So don't sit there telling me, you mean, that politicians can't criticise the judiciary. Because in this instance, they deserve everything they got. Well, it's quite interesting. Can they criticise them? They can criticise them. But what are they going to criticise them for? They're going to say, we think it's too left-leaning. So they could take it to a court of appeal. But Which they're doing. They're going to the Supreme Court. They, they are going to the Supreme Court. And they'll court. win. They're going well, to they, win. Well, they might win. I don't know. And if they do, absolutely brilliant. Okay. But... If they fail, they can change the law. And that's what they need to do. And that's what they will do.